pardon me, getting around a little bit slower, way bit slower this morning. Ah, oh, seems like something with my leg. Oh, every morning it's awake with some new, new ache and pain. Ah, oh, hey. Oh, you, you say, what's wrong? Why, boys, I, I hate to, to, to tell you this, but I, I have an incurable condition. Yes, I, 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 I'm going to die. It's called old age. <laughs> yeah, I had you going there for a minute, didn't I? Old age, that's right. It's kind of the punchline of life, you know. You think that life is going to go on and on when you're young that things will continue on as ever and one day you wake up and there's a gray hair the next day you wake up and there's a wrinkle kind of creeps up on you you know this this old age thing what hair what's that oh you you say that your papi takes five pills every morning with his oj well, oh, we don't do that sort of thing around here. We we take lots of naps, a little uh, walk, walk it off, uh, some tea, some tea for what else, yeah. That can do some good, sure. But, uh, you know, there are some trees over here. One particularly old tree that reminds me of myself Come along, boys. Come along. Take take a look at this here tree. Here's a young maple tree. Young trees, young people, they have an amazing ability to grow fast and change quickly and, and heal. And if you look down here, we can see that a big limb for, for a tree this size was, was knocked off and you, you can see where its growth is coming around this way and this way attempted to close off this wound and here you see a similar wound do you think this tree will close it over if it doesn't close this up this will become rot and the tree will break right here because of the rotten spot in it Yes, I, I think, boys, this will close over, heal up, and you'll never know the difference, much like this one. This is all but healed over, just a tiny little space here. So young tree is amazingly resilient and able to overcome change and difficulty. But right behind me here, Right here is an old maple tree. It's been here for probably a century or two, just living and growing. It had a good life, but it's not able to change and, and handle wounds like a young tree anymore. Here we see a gigantic limb was ripped out of it. You see this big hole going down into it and we see some fungus setting in on this section here that means that is eating the tree away turning it into dirt now you see a similar thing happening here here is this huge dead rotten spot all of this rot and then all over here we see the healing process taking place but it's got to go from here the whole way over into here somewhere to heal up. We're talking at least two foot of healing area, maybe even three. You think this tree is going to be able to successfully heal over this rot? That's right. No, no, it's not going to, to heal up. This is going to be fatal for this tree. Here is another example. It's a fairly mature tree. 
This big limb was cut off later in life. You think it's going to heal this limb over? It's probably not. And again, we see a sign of tree disease, fungus. Here we have another fairly young maple tree. It's getting fairly large up in there. And we see some branches that are dying like this one dying because it's getting no sunlight. This one here is also getting weak. These could be pruned off. Any limb not growing toward the light, growing downward, is dying. Well boys, I want you to take note to nature how she works. No, take note of these trees, how the old ones are not as capable of healing over or changing their life. So change now. Nip it in the bud. Prune back dead areas of your life. Prune back areas in darkness. Why waste energy on something that's going nowhere? Prune it back now while it's easy and you have the strength to direct energy into other branches and other areas of your life. That's right. I dip it in the bud. The bud. When here in our world, when we all gather down at the Castle Green to hear the king speak, he likes to tell, tell parents to, to train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he shall not depart from it. Good words. Good, good words. 